Humphreys are the least of Joe Paterno's worries. The pop again is missing from his offense for a second straight year, and it could be a long year in Happy Valley. The ride for the Lions quarterbacks has been a rough one, too. Neither able to lift the team on his battered shoulders. It could be another banner year for Michigan. A dramatically improved defense has rattled opponents, and a revamped offense has found a new constellation of stars. has been either an assistant or a head coach at Penn State. And his Nittany Lions, for only the second time in history, are off to an 0-3 start. And a tough task at hand today because they face the 15th ranked team in the country, a team that's beaten them four times in a row, the Wolverines of Michigan. Michigan with a kick. Five yards deep, Penn State will not bring it out making his first career start. We saw him in extensive action against Miami with Matt Seneca with a bad shoulder. Here comes the kid to make his first start. A redshirt freshman out of Jamesville, Maryland. A little bit of pressure from the 20 yard line. Mills is going to throw on first down. It's got his man in out of his hands. And it was Eddie Drummond who should be spot with Julius Curry out today. He and Cato June are the two starting safeties for Michigan. On a second and ten. Mills again will try it this time. And another drop ball, Bryant. Well, already the Boo Birds are out. The Burger King starting lineup. Here's the Whoppers up front. Felder, Ransom, Iorio, Linda, and McKelvey making just his second start at right tackle. Johnson, McHugh, John Gilmore is a tight end. Tony Johnson and Bryant Johnson. And we just saw Bryant Johnson drop that last pass. Flanking Mills in the shotgun right now. They fake the handoff to him and go deep down the middle and Gilmore dropped it. Those are three catchable passes, and that is the way the Penn State season has gone so far. You gotta get, help your quarterback. David Royer now after punt. He's been a busy punter all year, and he had it partially blocked. Somebody got a hand on it. It's going to roll out near midfield, and that's about it. Michigan will have great field position. His seventh season as a head man of the Wolverines. Nice play fake by Navarre. On a bootleg, in trouble, and down he goes. Michael Haynes, a guy that the Penn State coaches says has to pick up his game. And he Fullback, sprint out, now you're looking for tight ends coming across the field, and there was nobody open, and Haynes gets the first sack of the game. Nice play, stay wide. He's starting to rumble Beaver Stadium here for the defense. Screen pass, Askew, got some blockers in front. Colonel's a man, he's got a first down and a bunch more. Down the sideline, all the way to the 23 yard pickup. And now back to the ground game. Askew's got a blocker in front. It's a nice play defensively down in 11 from the 23 of Penn State. Navarre, plenty of time, has time to pump and come back to his second receiver. And Askew's run out of bounds. At about the 14. Penn State, here's the guys that Bob talked about. Jimmy Kennedy, one of the best around, with Adams, the other tackle. Jones and Haynes, the defensive ends, and Haynes already has a sack today. The linebacking core, Tolls is in there with Finney, their defensive captain, and Tom Williams, a former walk-on. And the secondary. Not what they're not used to around here. Not at all. Brian Scott will be the guy matched up much of the day with Marquise Walker. Mayor, Israel, and Branch round out the secondary. There's a guy that will be busy today with one of the best receivers in football. Three receivers to the left. They get it out to Walker. He had a couple blockers in front. Draw play to Askew. Broke a couple tackles. And he got down to about the two-year screen again. That's the way Navarre's looking. Throws incomplete. Well, 18 yards. This is basically an extra point, and it's a fake. And Gonzalez, did he get there? And I've given it to I him. don't think so. Penn State has stopped it. Let's take a look. See if the knee is down before the ball. Yeah. It looked like his knee was down, and then the ball crossed the, the line it for a touchdown. That's where Penn State's offense is, is in the end zone. Mills to throw. Comes out, fires, got him in, and this one's caught by Bryant Johnson. I thought he was going to drop that one, too. Unbelievable. Pass. We're going to have to throw the ball to set up the run. Four plays for Penn State and four passes. Red shirt freshman. This one he caught twice, Brian. <laughs> Somebody's and a long nine. Here comes a blitz. Larry Johnson broke through a hole. He's got an opening. 
Johnson's close to cross the 33 yard line here the 34 play fake by Mills in trouble battles his way back to the line. That's a huge win. Huge. Row. Second down and 10 Mills the blitz. Oh, what a shot but holding on with Sean Mills. Mills has done a nice job so far on the roll. He might keep this one but he won't get the first down. Not without a face mask. <laughs> Here's Navarre on the roll. In and out of the hands of Bruce Branch, who almost picked it off. Second and ten for the Wolverines. Draw play. Askew cuts outside. A nice stiff arm. Heading for the corner, but they won't let him get there. Nice so push. Far. See if their defense can get another stop. Third and three. Navarre down the middle. Got his tight end. They've always had good tight ends. At the 47. Fake the end around and go straight up the middle. They like that play. On the punt team or the field goal team. Askew's got a first down. Receivers out there for Navarre right now and second down and 10. He goes across the middle. Out of the backfield. Askew's got a first down and then some down to the 20th quarter. Askew, left side. Gonna have a first down on the ground. And the next one. Second and seven. Navarre, they're not getting any pressure on him. <laughs> Four out of five on third down conversions are going to play it safe here this year. Michigan trying to get on the board. The kick on the way and it's good. So we played down to the 241 mark of the first quarter. The Wolverines on their he second. It's a backwise since Charles, Charles Woodson. Woodson. That's big shoes. That's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Larry Johnson on the give. Made something out Very of poise today. At first three passes dropped. Didn't drive him crazy. He's going to look for a block here. Get what he can across it. With General Terry halftime, of course. Here's Askew. Penn State runs him down. Haynes is having a good game. That after this play. Right. Second down, 10. Navar. Screen pass to Askew. Haynes is going to be in on this one, too, along the toes. Same two guys, opposite side. Yeah. Try and a third down at 14. Navarre's hit all three of his third down conversions to three different receivers. Deep ball's got another one. Great throw. Ronald Bellamy with a catch on the seam. A lot of teams throwing it. Not much better than that. And a little quick opening draw. Ask you. I think they're going to call a face mask on somebody incidentally. And that's the call. Shamar Finney and Lamar Stewart. Slot. He pumps once. Lofts it to the end zone. Broken up. Nice play defensively by Bruce Branch. Pumps a little bit. Great protection. Beautiful play defensively by the senior out of Richmond, Virginia, Branch. That'll bring up second down and 10 at the corners to the near side. Now Calvin Bell in motion. They give it to him on an end around. Calvin Bell. There's the bunch to the left, and that's where Navarre is looking, and he's hit. Dropped by Shamar Finney. Finney with a great blitz. That's an offensive line that has been doing well. They've only allowed nine sacks in four games, but Navarre never saw him. He came from his blind side. Now Epstein's going to try a 41-yard kick. He hit from 29 earlier. Kick on the way. And he got it just barely. Tucked it inside the up right on the right side from 41. Michigan gets three more. Realize hit him, the nightmare's over in the yeah. second half. <laughs> Here's Zach Mills in trouble. Got away from one. Not the other two. Or three. Plus the rankings you see. Those rankings are ranked. Here's Mills. Deep balls. Got Drummond. Got it. That'll help the offensive stats. Drummond all the way down to the 45-yard line. And Tony Johnson, watch the offensive line here and see him get us some protection. Cato June came on a blitz. And number two right up the center. Almost under through it because of the pressure of June, but got it out there, and Drummond makes a play. Drummond's the guy they expected big plays out of this year. And finally, he comes up with one, and Zach Mills had to take one. For the team there yeah, after down into Michigan territory, just inside the 45. Mills look out from behind. Ball is loose. Michigan's got it on the fumble return, and it's Lazarus who's dragged down from behind by Mills. Rumashek will ask you on a stretch play. Haynes has got him wrapped up for a loss. Second down at 12. Navarre. Goes in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. He's going to be under a lot of pressure today. 
Jamar from the gun, under the gun. Down he goes. Jamar Finney's got his second sack of the day. Through there. Here he comes, number 21. Right up the gut, you had two guys blitzing. Everybody picked up the other guy. That was Scott. From 41 and 29 earlier. Kick on the way. Not this time. Penn State's defense does the job. Just try and get him a jump started. Get him into the floor of the game a little earlier. Mills back to throw. Got a man wide open. Brian Johnson with a flag down. Johnson down to the 40. Again, there's a flag. There's normally no. It's a face mix. Yeah. That I did not see. There's a lot of hand fighting going in that offensive defensive line. First down, Penn State at the Michigan 40. Mills floats one out, gets a short gain. Shotgun. The man coverage everywhere. Oh, boy. They blew that one up. Hobson in flying in there. Royer's got to get one down in tight here. He might have hit this one too much. No, he didn't. Great play down there by Tony Johnson, who caught that one on the fly at the five-yard line. Now they're backed up near their own goal line. Ask you. They go with a triple package out there, trying to run from his own end zone. Nice kick. Branch way back to the 31-yard line. And down he goes. Nice cut swing pass. But a loss of one to McCoo. Second down 11. Mills in trouble again. Gonna have to get rid of it. He did and completed it somehow. Third down conversion time. It hasn't been great for Penn State. One of five. Mills in trouble. Ball is loose again. Who's got this one? The pile up at the 40. Time it's clock in Zach Mills' head, Bob, seems to be getting longer and longer. Yeah. Bellamy. And he dropped it. And took it off the car. Richard Gardner took that right off the shoulder pads of Bellamy. Well, he's in there, right? Bellamy is in there because Julius Curry is not here. He would normally be back playing that position. Michigan has made some mistakes in their kicking game. And Penn State has recovered a couple of, and blocked, they blocked two kicks, and uh, scored on that. Mills, thinking the end zone, and throws it out of bounds. Second and ten. Mills, quick drop, got it out, complete. Here comes the end around, Eddie Drummond. Drummond's got a seam, it closed in a hurry by Tom. Well, maybe two. That much, anyway. You haven't scored it. Fourth down, less than a yard. Oh, and somebody moved early. I think Linda, the right guard, came out. Fire the snap. Any opportunity for a first down Offense. is gone by Five the boards yards. now. The down remains four. From 35 yards to try to put his team on the board. The wind swirling a little bit, but at his back, and he pushed it to the right. What a terrible way to end a drive for Penn State. We'll chat with that Nittany Lion the other day. When we were out there, it was uh, ball loose at the end, blown dead, though. For Navarre on third down and five. Here comes a blitz. Navarre in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. 15. Bruce Branch is waiting on the other end. Nice kick again. Branch back pedals. He'll field it at the 32. Made two guys miss. Bruce Branch out of bounds, nifty little return. That's why they wear those numbers, and they just moved up the linebacker. Both are Butkus candidates. Play action, pass complete to Gilmore, the tight end. Knocked out of bounds, but not before he's got a first down inside the 35 and a flag. Receiving tight end. So, Mack backs it up to midfield. They do have a first down, however. Mills leveled as he threw. Almost in color as his jersey by halftime. <laughs> Like that. Well, that's what we talk about. Rumashek got him this time. They still got very much of a chance. We've got a half left, and they're only down six points. But some of those mental errors have cost them big time in this first half. Mills throws. Ryan Johnson trying to make a diving catch over there, and he didn't have enough territory. They'll try to do something with it before halftime. They'll keep it on the ground. They might do something with it anyway. 
They get out to the 39. Navarre wide opens Marquise Walker. They've held him pretty much in check. Now out of the gun, first down. Blitz on Navarre. Whoa, Walker got peppered by Gardner. Good play by Gardner. Nice. Watch this hit on Walker. Kapow. There was another receiver. Going Brady, who we mentioned, filled in for Drew Bledsoe and got a win for the Patriots last week. Navarre, there he finds a completion down inside the 30. From the shotgun. Going to throw the quick out. Marquise Walker's all alone. I think he would have gone out of bounds, but there was nobody home to On the wide outs for Navarre. And a first down. Here comes a blitz. Navarre stands in. Walker, touchdown. What a catch. What a grab. What a throw. And just like that, in less than a minute, Michigan drives it down and scores. He doesn't care about all that other stuff. They're going to go to the locker room here, down 13 to nothing after really playing a good game on defense until the last minute of this half. Their offensive line has let too many guys get to number seven. And Lloyd Carr's offense sparks it up in the final 55 seconds. They lead 13 to nothing. We'll be joining John and Terry at Times Square Stadium in New York. And he was the man, he and Navarre. And now they lead 13 to nothing, and they'll have the ball first as Gould kicks. And this one sails out of bounds. Nope, it's going to be a touchback. I thought it was out of bounds. Well-connected storyline. We mentioned Marquise Walker, six, uh, rather seven receptions, 67 yards, and that touchdown just before halftime. He's the second down and seven. On a play action bootleg. Little loft out there. And a penalty marker down in England. They, they fake it to him. Navarre's got all kinds of time. Deep ball for Bellamy. Got him. Touchdown, Wolverines. 53-yard strike from Navarre to Bellamy. Touchdown, Michigan. First drive of the second half. About three or four plays. You may have seen that Penn State did differently coming out second half. Penn State, McCoo, very on, close uh, to the vest. The guy that they plan to throw it a lot to. Not a part of this game now since early in the ball game. And Mills first down at the 40. And here comes a design run for Mills. Boy, when I'm short on quarterbacks, I don't know how much I use them. There's a counter. McCoo goes down. Here comes a blitz. Mills steps in, fires. Johnson's got it. This is Brian Johnson, and it's a side and blitzing, but this time he's picked up from the blind side. Got time to throw, pitch and catch. The receiver Johnson gets open, and the throw is there. Hit a, a number of don't, other times. Don't try to count him. Yeah, he's uh, been hit. Here's the option, and McCoo back to the middle of the field. Blitz a lot. Here's what Penn State's done on the ground. Way under the average so far. And each seven. They aren't going to get a pass intended for Jeff and knocked around considerably today. Here's a draw play. Ask you. They load up on the right side and they run it back into the middle and it stopped by the in at the tailback spot. Zach Mills to throw. Completes it out. Blosser is full back out of the back. I think it's good for Penn State if it happens. Will it happen today? Will it happen down the line? The schedule doesn't get much easier, I'll tell you that much. From the 36, pump fake, Mills deep down the middle. It's intercepted. Picked off by Cato June. And June's out of bounds at the 47. On the bar with the handoff to Perry. Perry trying to get to the corner, run out of bounds. He's coming over, and that's what ended up being the case. Navarre. Drops and rolls through a touchdown on this play last time. This time throws it out to Walker. Marquise Walker Not to rush of Penn State, that is. They're going to bring some heat this time with a blitz. The pass incomplete. Boy, right after I said it. Now that's, here's a look at the replay. He just gets hit as he's throwing the ball. That's the thing that's different about football today than it was 20 years ago. First down, Penn State at the 20 yard line. Mills comes up fire, and Brian Johnson made the catch. He's got a first down. It's yards on the ground. They'll try again on the ground. And maybe one. Six tackles today for Larry, as a matter of fact. Second down long. Pass complete. Tony Johnson. Boy, they just hang with you. Ten title. Might end up being the leader of the pack before it's over. 
Mills design run for the quarterback again got the first down. That's a full day. <laughs> That's a full day. Noon to midnight football. Here's a pass complete doing well. They give us the attendance though at 107 879. I'm not quite sure about that. Mills to throw. And Brian Johnson had been knocked down back there across midfield and get something going. Royer to punt. Nice kick. And very nice kick. Down inside the five. I had one fall on me last year when we were on camera. I think. Second down nine. Uh oh, there's an opening. It closed at the 15. Could be the final play of the half, and he breaks into the secondary again. Two minutes away from being very disappointed again. Straight up the gut. Amazing that Notre Dame started the way they started, and also Penn State. Notre Dame got off that windless that works from the gun. Mills lofts one for Johnson. Broken up. A Penn State Back. turf. You can pick this up. I like that. Take that home to Braxton and Schaefer. Have them grow that in your backyard, Swanee. <laughs> you got it. Here's a handoff, Omar Easy. And out across the third. Third down. And three. Mills fires. Oh, and it's caught. It's almost intercepted. And Gilmore took it on a ricochet. Can you throw to tight ends. That's usually the plus right coming at you. Number 85. Oh, that's dangerous. Went right through Lasseur's hands. He saw it all the way, should have had it. Nittany Lions trying to get something going and get that goose egg off the board and try to get in this game. Here's the toss to Maku. Under 11 minutes, third and eight. Mills stands in. Now he's in trouble and down he goes. Second down at 10. Askew cuts outside. Branch will make the test. worst was against Wisconsin a couple of weeks ago. That was 23 yards. So but that's they've had, as Bob said earlier, they've had great lines. And they don't have a great line right now. And it might get better. It probably will. There's a big hit. Pickup of about five. The ball's ball come out. loose at the end. Ball's out. You Just look at Joe Paterno and say, you know, the game's passed him by. That's baloney. That's, you know, there's been too many coaches, great coaches, who over the years you've found out after somebody else comes in that, you know what, they weren't so stupid. I mean, Joe deserves to be here for when he decides to leave the ball game. And the fans forget so quickly the five undefeated seasons and the two national championships in 82 and 86 you know. in the Big Ten. Penn State with a ball, Lamar Easy with a toss, and that Michigan defense, well, he paid for that sled away against a good defense. Uh, Mills is 18 of 31, 195 yards and an interception. Set to throw again. Zach has a nice toss. First down. See, it's not, they're not doing anything differently. In the practice, we talked about the practices. That one high, incomplete. Down and 10. Mills, boy, he hung into the last second and incomplete. Here's of the game of this one. B.J. Askew, marvelous day for him as both a rusher and receiver. And Shamar Finney's played awfully hard at linebacker and had a couple sacks today as well for the Penn State defense in recognition of their efforts. Chevrolet will make a thousand dollar contribution to each university's general scholarship fund. Two. Walker was on the running. Mm -hmm. The, backup, the backups for Michigan are in there now, getting a little action. Gonzalez. Talk about, uh, you know, the top five, ten coaches in college football. And I said, I don't know, but he should be. I think part of it is uh, his percentage improves a little bit today. Philip Fulmers drops down a little bit today in that statistic you just saw. Here's straight ahead run. Dave Underwood. And a hit. Gino Capone on coming game here. And uh, most of November, they're on the road, so it's not going to get any easier, that's for sure. Gonzalez got hit as he threw and complete. Michael Haynes still in there on the spot. The National it. Coach of the Year. Not bad. They put Navarre in there for a little quick kick, and his pooch punt is partially blocked. So the rain from being 0-4, soon to be 0-4. Mills throwing, Brian Johnson catching. The defense that stopped Florida State cold. They've got some great players, Kalmus and Roy Williams on that defense. Pass complete in Texas. Mills in and out of the hands and intercepted Marlon Jackson. Third turnover. 
That one skipped off his receiver Eddie Drummond's hands again, and that one you shouldn't blame on Zach Mills again. No, and Marlon. It slips out of the hands of the Nittany Lions and into the opposition, and that's kind of the way their 0 4 start has been. A few years, they've always been one of the best, and it shows in the games here today. Here's a give on a handoff to Underwood, and he didn't get the first down as the clock is winding down. Michigan will win it and shut out Penn State at Penn State hasn't happened in a long long time Navarre with a big game BJ ask you an even bigger game offensively a fast Michigan defense and a Penn State offense that just couldn't get it going again that's going to wrap it up for Bob Greasy and Liz Warren Brad Nessler from Happy Valley time to go to Times Square Stadium in New York John Saunders and Terry Bob.